Hi there, and welcome to Montessori Creativity and the Meaning of Life. I'm your host, Robin Norgren, and today you have stepped into a series called Love Poems from God, 12 Sacred Voices from the East and the West. Um, We are featuring Rumi. Uh, We previously featured Rabia and St. Francis of Assisi, so make sure and go back and listen to the uh, past podcasts so you can experience their voices in poetry as well. So let's get started. The first poem is called, The Way Wings Should. What will our children do in the morning? Will they wake with their hearts wanting to play? The way wings should? Will they have dreamed the needed flights and gathered the strength from the planets that all men and women need to balance the wonderful charms of the earth so that our power and beauty does not make us forget our own? I know all about the ways of the heart, how it wants to be alive. Love so needs to love that it will endure almost anything, even abuse, just to flicker for a moment. But the sky's mouth is kind. Its song will never hurt you. For I sing those words. What will our children do in the morning if they do not see us fly? The next one is called Rumi, Play Homage. If God said, Rumi, pay homage to everything that has helped you enter my arms, there would not be one experience of my life, not one thought, not one feeling, not any act that I would not bow to. Poem number three. Relationship Booster. Here is a relationship booster that is guaranteed to work. Every time your spouse or lover says something stupid, make your eyes light up as if you've just heard something brilliant. The Chance of Humming. A man standing on two logs in a river, might do all right floating with the current while humming in the now. Though, if one log is tied to a camel, who is already heading south along the bank at the same pace, all could still be well with the world. Unless the camel thinks he forgot something and abruptly turns upstream. Then, uh uh-oh. Most minds do not live in the present and can stick to a reasonable plan. Most minds abruptly turn and undermine the chance of humming. Spiritual health. A good gauge of spiritual health is to write down the three things you most want. And if in any way they differ, you are in trouble. The last one is called, okay, I'll do it. Okay, I will do it. Sing longer songs tonight because sometimes you're so damn hard to please. And I guess I am still courting you, trying to get into your soul's knickers. What makes you like that, grouchy around the edges? What classrooms have you lounged in? What nonsense have you traded your gold for? How can you look so needy? God is growing in fields you own. He hangs from trees you pass every day. He is disguised at that pe- as that peach and pine cone. Every sound I hear, he made it. 
I've been walking with two canes these days. Guess why? It is because of his beauty and that blonde peach fuzz floating everywhere like dust. It has made me so drunk. Thanks so much for stopping by. Make sure and like and subscribe, share it with your friends. And I will be back with another segment on Rumi in our next podcast.